Welcome to the Bachelor of Applied Data Science enrollment video. I'm Simon Clark, the course director of the Bachelor of Applied Data Science. You're going to be seeing a lot of me. What I will explain to you in this video is the units you will need to enrol in in first year. All the information that you need for enrolment can be found at these handbook entries. If you can't remember these, search for the Monash handbook and once there, search for the Bachelor of Applied Data Science or the Bachelor of Applied Data Science Advanced. What's shown now is the course map for the Bachelor of Applied Data Science, which is over three years. Each year is broken up into two semesters. The first semester starts in March and the second semester starts in July. To complete the Bachelor of Applied Data Science, you need to complete 144 credit points. And this is typically broken up into six point units. So in each semester, you have to take four of these six point units, apart from your final semester, where you take a 12 point advanced data challenges unit and two six point units. The degree is also broken up into four streams. The stream which is shown in green are the advanced data challenges units. In those units, you will be given real data and will be working hands-on in manipulating and interpreting that data and communicating the results. Those units are all prescribed, so you just enrol in those. The second stream of units shown in blue are those which are taught by the Faculty of IT. In your first year, you will be taking MAT 1830, Discrete Mathematics for Computer Science, and FIT 1045, Programming Fundamentals in Python. The units which are shown in yellow are those which are taught by the School of Mathematics. For these units, you will need to make a choice of what units you are going to take in first year and also what sequence you are going to take at higher levels. I'll go into that in more detail later. The units which are shown in grey are the Applied Studies units and they correspond to a specific discipline in which you will complete a sequence of four six-point units and provides contextual background for applied data science. Then in your third year, you have two free electives to complete. These can be IT units, mathematics units, a continuation of your applied studies, or they could be something completely different. The advanced degree is a four-year degree, which in your fourth or honours year, you complete two advanced data challenges units and two electives in your first semester, and an industry research project in your second semester. You can also get into the honours year from the standard three-year degree, provided you have sufficiently good results in your third year. Let's then go back to your choices in first year, and this is the most important thing you need to consider at the moment. You'll need to decide which mathematics and applied studies units you are going to take. The advanced data challenges and IT units are prescribed, so you don't need to worry about them at the moment. The mathematics sequence that you take depends on the highest mathematics subject that you completed coming into your degree. If the highest mathematics subject that you completed was VCE Maths Methods 3-4 or equivalent, then you take the sequence highlighted in blue. In your first semester, you take MTH 10-20, which is essentially specialist maths without the statistics, and then you go on to MTH 1030, which is the first university level mathematics unit and covers calculus and linear algebra. In your first semester of second year, you will then take MTH 2019, which is an advanced calculus and linear algebra unit. If you've been admitted into the course from Galcao, you must complete MTH 1010 functions and their applications prior to MTH 1020. MTH 1010 will count as an elective. If you passed VCE Specialist Maths 3-4 or equivalent, then you take the sequence highlighted in orange. The first unit that you should take is MTH 1030, or if you did very well, you can enrol in the advanced version, MTH 1035. Then in your second semester, you take an advanced calculus unit, MTH 2010. Again, you could possibly take the more advanced version, MTH 2015. In your first semester of second year, you will then take MTH 2021, linear algebra with applications, or its advanced version, MTH 2025. 
The other choice that you will need to make at the end of first year is what higher level sequence to enrol in. If you want to take a sequence in numerical mathematics, then you take MTH 2051, Introduction to Computational Mathematics in your second semester of second year, which then leads on to a third year Computational Linear Algebra unit. If you want to take a sequence in Mathematical Statistics, you take MTH 2222, Mathematics of Uncertainty in First Semester of Second Year, and that leads on to a third year Statistics and Probability unit. This sequence will require you to juggle the timing of your applied studies or elective units. The final units that you need to decide on is your applied studies sequence. There are 26 disciplines listed here which come from faculties all over the university. You will need to first read the handbook entry and choose the sequence in which you will enrol. That will describe the units you need to enrol in in first year. Some of the units in these sequence may not be able to be enrolled in until you complete units in your first year of studies. So please read the prerequisites for each unit you are considering. In this case, you may again need to juggle the timing of your applied studies or elective units. A reminder, the handbook entries are shown here. Hopefully, that provides enough information for you to complete your first year enrolment. I look forward to seeing you in 2020.